What they haven't previously. Vitality certainly got quite the winning record. Double digits, consecutive victories on it. And now they clash again. One to watch out for me is RPK. His CT sides on that B site are infamous and can cause many a nightmare for any sort of B lurkers or B hits. Middle, a big part of the map. We've seen teams starting to really find their footing in applying pressure through that avenue of the map. For now, though, it will be your standard A lean. Looks like GG.bet favor Vitality heavily after that one. Heading into their map pick, it makes sense. And nades, these will do a good mm. chunk of damage oh. if they hadn't have pulled away. And even with that said, they have been softened up a little bit. Brolin pushed up middle. I'm looking for info. So two smokes here, but it looks like they want to get the nades out first over towards the boost position. One's going to land, and that's a little bit shy on the first, but the second does a good chunk of damage onto JW down to 62. Smokes will come through now. Crimson's just going to try and tap away, keep his crosshair in the right spot, and now he hits perfectly. Just as the smokes bloom, Golden's done the same. They're getting caught before they even get that bomb down. This is not ideal for Vitality to contest his JW. Doesn't want to fall to shocks either. They spot one short. Masuta trying to leave the site. Cost him his life. They boost it up. Shocks has got so much work to do here. He'd have to have a couple of quick frags. That's a good flash, but Crim's babysitting and Fnatic is successful clean. and clean pistol round. One of the notes I want to make here, and I still don't have Skybox operational, so I'm going to have to do it with my words, ladies and gentlemen, is the deeper smokes that were coming through from Vitality there. Norm normally, you'd see that smoke on the left-hand side of the bomb box, and that actually allows the CTs to get a little bit more cheeky. They push through, they try and, you know, stop you from planning. They can actually use those smokes to their advantage. Right. Here it was deeper. That wall went closer towards elevator room, deeper towards that boost box side of things, and that's actually making sure that Vitality can guard that avenue avenue of aggression. So uh, let's see if that plays into gun rounds. It would be really cool to see a smoke wall where you just put one between that red box and elevator and then one on top of that white that white box to kind of obscure snipers and the headshot box. We have been seeing teams, I think it was in the North American side of things, 100 Thieves actually going ah. for a similar approach to that, smoking off elevator room and deeper and then dealing with the boost box with nades and molotovs. That's what I'm thinking, as opposed to a control. smoke. Okay, yeah. sure. So let's see what's happening now with your usual ramp exchange. This is a second round AK for Shocks and Zywu. Vitality putting a lot of faith into some of their key fraggers here at the sacrifice of Misuta and Apex. GW could be in a spot of bother here. And he is going to go down. And a second frag required. Oh, Zywoo's oh. found them all. Fnatic bringing the fight down ramp and Zywoo can't believe his luck. He'll take that. And look at the space he's denying. He'll tuck into the sandbags. That's not the bomb. That's just frags. And you can see what it's done to the CT side. This is where things get awkward. They can pause, take their time. Absolutely no rush. The hard work has been done. So Zywu and Shox have kind of just put up a bit of a, a, a net right now. And if anybody tries to push forward for information to see exactly where they've gone, they can both pop up their heads and take down Brolin or Flusher. But Brolin being very, very passive, knowing how much space could have been taken, will start to get inquisitive now. Has two very angry Vitality players to deal with. And look at all this space just being taken away. Brolin thinking maybe he's picked the wrong site. He's not letting go. No, he's not. And he's almost expendable on that HP, and he does even better. This is now four. He's on for the ace. Flash is walking in from middle. He has the angle, but realizing his low HP, he's playing the percentages. We'll back away. Great round. Would have loved to have seen him just go for the ace, right? Using Why that not? confidence yeah. here in the second round of map Bounce number in. two. But they're already walking away from the bomb. Um, Ooh. So... There's no kit that I can see close by. Flusher did have a smoke. There won't be a defuse coming on through. He's just seeing if he can grab anybody trying to exit or chase him on down. So hiding more in plain sight to keep this M4A4. But it's very strange that they all left the bomb that <laughs> early. It would have been a horrible way to lose a fantastic round from Zywoo there. But that's not the case. We're living in a fairy tale land if that was to come on through. And Vitality 1-1 here on the second map. I'd love to see what Fnatic now bring to this, though, because this is the black box of, well, they left this in here clearly for yeah. a reason. Whether it be because of Dust 2 or not, we can remove it. Let's look at it from an intentional point of view of looking towards Vertigo. I'm excited to see if they have something creative to bring. They've had, what, a two-week kind of think tank, I guess. Not yeah. necessarily just for Vertigo, obviously, but it's well within that. So I'm hoping they can deliver a little something unique here. Zywu. Very patient, of course, in the replay. Uh, Brolin, though, puts himself in with the CZ, and he's oh got support. Wait, whoa, 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 whoa. This is getting way more scary. And a rifle's even been nabbed up by Brolin. Perfect. Yeah, well, this is mad. Um, double kill for Flusher right out the gate. They took the fight on B. I don't think they were expecting so much resistance, and it's basically cost them the round. Losing two players in an instant and finished off by Brolin CZ.
This is really awkward for them now. Oh, might be a bit of gap on the uh, Masuda side of that smoke. And Brolin's aware. Maybe the feet, but Brolin's actually above that angle now that he's on these pallets. Masuda waiting in the smoke for a bit of the nutmeg shocks as well in the connected position, ready to strike. That sound cue. Oh, and Brolin is like the nutmeg. Away. So, yeah, <laughs> probably not the risk you want to be taking with a number advantage, but the kill. For Masuda, it's no good. And Flusher stands tall. Brolin trades out. Round number two, bouncing back. A note with that Get round right there. Flusher actually dropped two deagles across so that more smokes could be purchased on through from the Fnatic side of things going into round number three. So he was donating and finding the kills. Mm. And now we have Vitality dropping guns across once again. Zaiwu, will he be given an AK? I would assume likely. One for Shocks. Galil for Masuta, Scout for Apex. Bit of a, a patented weapon we've been noticing with him on the Four Spies. An RPK just down to that Deagle. So back underway we go as the Four Spy Wars greatly anticipated. Who's going to strike first? Scout the AK. I definitely favor the AK-47. Brolin does too. Oh, good tag from Apex though. He pulls the trigger into the shoulder blades of Brolin. That was a great flash. Yeah, he threw that so quickly. Makes it look easy. I wonder if they want to hang around for this triple swing that we saw Vitality go for in the previous, where uh, all the damage came through from Mr. Zywu. It does look as though JW's not really fancying it this time, doesn't want to be pushed up so close, but Golden, mm. having a look, you might... Yeah, well, that's what you get for having a look. You, you take a lot of damage for it. Down to 37, and this slow grind on the ramp is starting to really chip away at those CTs. They're going to park him sandbags? This is close. And Molly to deal with him here as well. They have to clear this. Just in the nick of time. That's a big loss. Quite the casualty. Good frag from Shocks. Crims' element of surprise here he will cost smoke? him a lot. He's got the burst fire. Are you mad? Okay. Switches back to the auto and gets the first on the back of Golden's Flash. They know where he is. Finding anything here would be near impossible. Masuta does well to transfer in the Brolin Flash. Caught his teammate as well. Oh, does well to find another. Puts Flusher into a one versus three. Not easy. Nade could do some damage. Everyone's fully health, though. That's the end of that. Okay, so do Fnatic want to bounce back in again? There's no saved M4 this time round, but there's enough money on JW to buy in relatively potently. It's not going to be fantastic, and I think Fnatic might put down their guns here and allow Vitality to win the Force by Wars and string two rounds together. Or not. Oh, um, so Deagles and bits and bobs. Whoa, is that an Agev rush? Yes, it was, but I think it looked... Oh, no, it's not a miss by. He's taken it. Well, they have oh. to use it. We, we don't We don't allow any uh, restarts around here for a miss by. Rush, how do you feel about this? You love to see it. Don't think he's going to do anything. Commit's been taken over, but if he gets his skates on, <laughs> this could be massive. I kind of want to just stay yeah, just with him the whole stick round. Stick with it. <laughs> just see if he gets anything. Go. Let's see what he's got with this beast of a weapon. Uh, not often finding place for success, but he creeps and he crawls and he's looking on the edge of the smoke. The other two do have the deagles, bit of armor with it as well, some utility. This wasn't a very light purchase, obviously. This is quite a, an all in. Uh, an all in, yeah. So, uh, <laughs> save it. He may as well. Keep right? it. I know it yeah. seems ridiculous, but it's better than losing it and then having absolutely nothing. Ooh. So, I'll take that. I'm surprised they went for the force by it all, to be completely honest. I'm not sure what Flusher meant to buy. Uh, maybe he did mean to purchase this through. Doesn't seem likely, but uh, maybe. And JW, you don't want to give it away. It's uh, got a lot of bullets, mate. 150, 300 residual. Hold on to it. <laughs> Come on. We need to shoot a bullet with it, at least, or the purchase is in vain. Honey, you could just wall bang the hell out of ramp for a while. I mean, try smoke and has find to be good. Something. Okay, so here's what they could do, right? If right. they get the A ramp smoke down and JW yeah. can get posted towards the top, maybe push someone down scaffolding to cover off the close corner. So if they try and break that net of the smoke, JW has close cover. Uh, then he can just sit there and pull the trigger whenever he feels, right? That is one option. And they have smokes to do that, but this time Fnatic will be taking the economical. <laughs> I've never casted a hero negative round. This is my oh, first. Yours. This is my first. Here we go. And a chance for JW. Starts to unload and Shocks is procedurally clearing. And he will hey, eventually 88 bullets left in the mag as he continues to unload. Zywoo's his next target and he gets it. The Negev, the hero of the round. He wants another oh, JW making the LMG sing. Come on, JW, get the ace. Come on. The entertainers, that's what we call Fnatic. And this is the reason right here. 
<laughs> Negev go brr, Brolin's Aww. gonna get himself the upgrade. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. Mission accomplished. Compet- competition high. JW gifted the AK with his Kevlar vest. It makes sense after the scavenging's been done, but this hero Negev's got him this far. Masuta and RPK were scratching their heads. Welcome to the new meta, boys. Hi. Oh, Brolin's gonna do it. Starts to wind up. Starts the dynamo. And prepares to unload. Moving as well. Just keeping the laser beam. 100 more bullets. He can keep them locked in. Boost oh, his cross. teammate. They're trying to cross. It costs them some health. It's all working out well. They won't be able to contest this plant. There's a universe where a 2v4 does take place. Oh, God, the spray. RPK forced into the USPs. Masuta to clutch. Oh. He does find the first two. The spray down looking good. It's all onto one. He's got four HP. Flusher just needs the single bullet oh. and he finds it down to the sketchiest. 24 points of health. He'll save the Negev. AK in front of him. You're going to get oh. that one off the map. Yeah, I think that's enough of that. But the hero LMG oh my God. brings home round three. Yeah, we definitely didn't see that one coming, ladies and gentlemen. The fact that he had more than one kill there uh, from JW is absurd. And that was an economical uh, coming Dude, How did shocks die there? Do, 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 do. Oh. This one here is all right. Like, Zywu, that's quite tasty, yeah. yeah. And, then, and then I don't know how he has a chance to course correct. I guess Apex mm. is looking at three different targets at that look point. Look at that line. Look, look, you try and get across. Oh, grief. Oh, it's good. Theory crafting rush there. He obviously understood it all. Yeah, he understood the strap. Yep. Well, uh, Vitality have operated quite well on these lower binds. This time around, it's more potent than just a regular one, but Zywa will be on a Deagle. There's AKs for everybody else, and Shocks on the AWP on the T side here. So early utility coming on out. Fnatic wanting to fight for this ramp control, and this little boost over the fringe of the smoke from Apex, it might net him one if Golden swings a little too wide. We can see JW there. Ooh. Bang, that's gonna hurt. Yeah, Zywu's halved. Deep Smoke returns. They're doing a good job of controlling and actually vying for ramp control. I thought we were kind of seeing a bit of a fall off of that CT aggression. That's what we saw out of uh, more from Astralis, right? The other day when we were watching a few of their games, they weren't playing so hyper aggressive yeah. towards ramp. We also didn't see the all in from Heroic anymore towards that side. Didn't have Tesla spiraling down. But remember when we were watching G2, it was just Amanek running through that ramp smoke. I'm so. Uh, yeah, swings and roundabouts as Zywu gets flashed on through. They do have a Molotov to deal with that position of sandbag. Golden does not have a smoke of his own, so he'll need a teammate to hook him up. Uh-oh. Golden, the flash did come through, but the spray wasn't there. And now you do have four players standing. They are all sitting relatively healthy. They have a touch of utility, not a great deal, however. On the other side, a bit broken and beaten. Apex, Zywu, weaker than before. Smokes are important. They're going to want to get them both down, especially because of those low HP players. So deploying them for the bomb plant is integral. Masuta spotted. That's the smoke from Zywu, and now the spray is vulnerable. This could be a double, could even be the triple. They walk my into my. Crims, and he finds them all. Shock's trying to stabilize just a little bit. Crims. Not going to over push. In fact, oh, that's so well played. It's hard to shoot through the floorboards, though. Very minimal damage. He has to emerge, and it costs him his life. Two on two with only nine Fine. seconds. That plant no longer a realistic goal, and Shock's just going to have to keep hold of his AWP. Flusher wins by taking his hands off the mouse and keyboard. I've got to say, though, I, I didn't get to see much Fnatic previously on this map, but this looks quite nice. Yeah. I, I think the T side might be a little bit more telling see how you know, proficient they are in this. But for now, I'm quite happy with the CT side. It looks quite nice. Flusher, Crims looking quite comfortable. Interesting, they opted to start on the CT side as well. This map uh, has a T-sided lean, at least from what we've been discovering since its introduction. Mm. Uh, for those people who aren't too aware, Counter-Strike, we've introduced a couple of new maps over the years, uh, but a lot have been based off of older maps like Train, Dust2, Inferno, etc. Overpass, Cobble, and uh, now Obviously, Vertigo are uh, fresh additions. They're Valve additions. Oh, dear. That's a big, big casualty for Fnatic to overcome. Flirting with a boost. It's not Strong. the boost. It's not the boost we could have uh, potentially been seeing pulled out. This is a risky duel. Oh, goodness. Flush up. Sketchy. Cost him his life with short shocks. Well and truly ready for that. Bronn's in trouble as well. He's got a multi-kill. Oh, he's got them both with such clean precision. He's actually been given the bomb. I love this. He's really given himself an advantage now. Gets awkward for Fnatic to piece this one back together again. RPK is going to give it a good go. Oh, wow. Brolin has done so much work. The bomb finally loose, but JW's on the rotate. Masuta digging into B. 
Shox with the responsibility of bomb retrieval, but he's lost his teammate now. This gets awkward. Brolin seems to have done enough. Maybe not. Golden is the one to finish the job, though. Keeps it nice and neat. 5 4 Fnatic. And it's all off the back of that B defender. Yeah, I don't mind the pause here from Vitality because really that was uh, their round to lose after those opening exchanges and Brolin did a fantastic job of slowing them down. So this timeout as well will allow Fnatic a chance to talk about their buy, drop the guns across that they need to do and have a chance to reset themselves because again, this is a bit more of a risk for them to be coming through with Vertigo. Now, I know that it was picked by Vitality. But what I mean is leaving it open in the veto. They said that their Dust 2 has been strugglesome. Well, their Vertigo statistically has also, let me just read you soon through some of their Vertigo results in 2020. Uh, they lost to Australia 16-8. That was back in Katowice. Uh, we've got the, mi the minor, uh, the close qualifier for that one. They lost uh, to Dignitas on that map, 22-18. to I think that was during Dignitas's early days, the de de debut of the roster with existing get right. Uh, moving on forward, they were able to pick up that win against North, I prefaced earlier. Mouse Sports, they lost 16-11. Heroic, they lost 16-11. And then more recently, they lost to Complexity, 16-13. So close losses for Fnatic and no reason they can't tune it up to make it more of a potent map. And maybe that time that they've been spending working on it will bear fruit today as JW picks up shocks. Opening kill coming in the way of the Swedes. The Swedes versus the French. It's been a battle for the longest uh, in CSGO for sure. Started off back with the very games versus NIP back in the early days. And then obviously we have the enviouses of the world. G2 still kicking about. Chad, I'm a bit sad. LDLC. Yes, Lauren? Someone photoshopped a picture of me at New York because we've got the green background and it made me miss events. Oh, um, all right. Uh, I thought that's why I brought Chad's box to kind of like make everybody happy. But I remember I guess... Buckethead. I do remember Buckethead. Oh my gosh. He what was a guy. Time. What a lad. He uh, he had a, he, he entertained yeah, the masses. His, uh... He saved us. That's true. He did. In the Barclay <laughs> Center. Because it was a bit of a tech pause or something going on there. That's right. Buckethead 25 minutes of the, uh, the Buckethead antics. <laughs> They took his buckets away. They did. He got them back. And um, people wanted justice, and the people got justice. It was served. I do miss New York, though, because it's probably it's one place. of my more favorite cities to go to for events. Yeah, it's good fun. Yeah. But uh, let's pretend we're there and uh, see if the Counter-Strike can help us out a little bit. As Vitality, I need another round on the board here. Since that forced by battle in the early stages and losing to the uh, Negev of Mr. JW, things haven't been looking so good. No, they have been looking a little subpar, but we do see Brolin getting a little curious about this. Straight through the smoke, in we go, find Shocks, dies to Shocks. The flash was there, but Shocks was just a little bit too well prepared. Gonna peel away, leaves Iwu to deal with any leftovers if they dare peek again. Ooh, you don't go for that twice, do you, Golden? He wants him to peek, so Zywu just posted up there with a minute 15 left on the clock. His presence alone is enough to force Fnatic to reconsider their stance, but Flash is holding this with the MP9 that Alex foretold. He's a cheeky bean, his flasher. They're boosting. They're going to have so much space here. They're going to go for a B hit. Flasher, the only man with anything to say about this. Oh my goodness, so many targets. He stands his ground. He goes one for one. On the cross, JW arrives. He drops the incendiary to try and divide, divide and conquer. All these are good. Working around the smoke, he's deployed. Hoping to be a presence and a threat on that default plant. Got the cross to quad clear, and that's the plan he wants to stop. Can't do so, but Shox is very exposed. <sighs> Shoots the corpse. Re-peaking now. Yeah, so who's got this so surely? Oh, guess not, it's Shox. Instead, Golden and Crim still trying to play this one back in. Oh, overextended. Yeah, it could all fall to Apex then. Two to find. Smoke deployed on the bomb. He needs to find a clean one, can't. Fresh mag. Wow. It's taken down. It will be another round in the bag for Fnatic. It seems that they uh, have definitely refined their CT side a little bit here. Vertigo, a surprise to see in the map pool, but already proving their worth. Was that 2v4? It wasn't. Or 2v3, I think. Uh, it was well, a one-on-one. -on -one. Either I mean, way, it was a yikes from me, dog. It was Golden, Crims. Yeah, I don't... That, that was really sloppy from Vitality there. It didn't even feel like there was any pressure. What I was talking about with the overextension, that he didn't need to swing for that kill. I understand that he thought he was in limbo and uh, wanted to seek out a frag, but by opening himself up there, all the, pr the pressure applied. Apex spamming away, not being able to convert. And now Fnatic, they trickle on up to seven. So they're running away with this first half here. And the AWP from JW strikes again. Apex down once more. Vitality in that winning streak. Mm. Well, uh, 
like I mentioned coming into this, they are on a losing streak. Two of their last bouts on Vertigo have fallen in the loss column. And uh, right now, this one is looking like they're in a little bit of trouble as well. So they pick this as a punish. Yeah. Unless they've been working on this themselves and their confidence is back up on this map. Maybe they thought that Fnatic hadn't been practicing it, hadn't been working on it. And uh, right now they're getting a bit of a rude shock to the system that, yeah, they know what they're doing. They're looking quite good. And Masuda, oh, he almost takes down Brol on there. We'll smoke him off. Damage, very, very hefty. Zywoo's chance to equalize. Finds it. Now we have a 4v4. Well, Golden's... Oh, got a really good chance there. Zywoo with just enough to half his health, but cost... Present, middle, presence, Misuta, RPK, both there. Shocks, considering moving that bomb towards the B side of the map. And they can really cut off rotations with this presence through middle. This is going to be a hard duel, admittedly. Flush are likely going to swing in and take that construction fight. You don't have to make a sound cue on your descent, though. Oh, they choose to. And Flush has perfectly timed this. Oh, one, likely a second as well. Masuta has to play a passive game here. The bomb needs to be planted. Shox is taking his sweet ass time. I think this is too much. You're right. Shox taking his time is. Nice okay, shot. that helps. Masuta needs to basically keep back two CTs while one's on the chase. So Masuta's going to be trying to deal with JW, trying to deal with Brolin on the other side. The Flash is going to assist again. Where's that plan? He needs to get this going, and it's oh. just about coming in now. The nade's done, Brolin in, and now we're into a 2v2. This is looking really nice from the French. They need this round. A fourth would be magnificent. Good frags found. Golden closing the gap. They have to be cognizant that there's a frank. Good frag. Golden finds his second. It all falls to Masuta. He's already hit some great shots. Chance to isolate these into two 1v1s. That's the intention. Finds the first, anticipating the second, and he gets it. Three kills. The French find the necessary round of recovered AWP as well. That's big for Vitality. That's big from Misuta. Yeah, if you consider some of these rounds that Vitality have put on the board, we had the uh, 4K round from Zywoo where he mauls three of them on the ramp, and then that one right there that they pulled out of their back pocket. So, oof, time, a bit of a drama, but not too many issues as Vitality are able to pick up their fourth round here. Fnatic they can bounce back on into this, but there's emissions on the buy. They've been kept relatively honest. Three MP9s, an AWP, and an M4 in the hands of Golden. Early utility exchanged over towards the ramp. Crims cannot stay around for too long in that molly. As he's already been tickled down to 75. We'll be forced on towards the short position. Apex is hunting. Oh dear, the flash is good. Good trade. Crims actively taking the fight to support his teammate, enables him to keep it level. Flash is flirting with some aggression here. That would be a boatload of info if he turned the corner, called it clear, but doesn't want to fall flat foul to a lingering Masuta heading towards T-Spawn at this point. There's a gap in the smoke. Oh, and Shox exploits it. Oh, I love that. I love seeing someone think, oh, I've got an opportunity here. I've got that. Oh, there's a little gap I'll get. No. And there's oh, oh another moment that could have been Flush's timing. It was so close. And Masuta, just as he looked away, and he hit the bomb as well. So much could have happened in that time. But now Brolin's on towards short. JW on the site, but he's got pressure. And now Brolin's isolated. The timing uncomfortable for him. Tries to make a mad dash to safety. Falls. Burning, burning, burning. Oh, he has to oh, respect it. What a good chance for JW. Completely misses it. And he's not going to get a second opportunity. It is only Flusher in his MP9 now. Maybe the AWP recovery mission will oh, make some noise. Trying to scarper away, and it does look like he's been given some room to escape. They should probably chase him here. JW's found a bunch of openings, or at least impact with that AWP, mm -hmm. and you can see here the man already on the hunt in that lower side of things will be shocked. He's hearing these footsteps. He's cut uh, Flusher off already, and by taking this out of the equation going into the next round, it's going to be great stuff here for Vitality. They had a good hunt over on Inferno. Uh, not to be right now as Flusher. Maybe have put enough space between him and the remainder of these Vitality players. RPK and Masuda coming through the back lines, through the B site, going for the flank. But at this point, Flusher could have disappeared anywhere. He's actually headed over towards T-Spawn. Now they're running. Now they're chasing. Flusher. Can he hide for long enough? By the toilets, it looks like he's going to get away with his life. Barrel would have been poking out around the side of that, but no drama. 7 to 5 now. Fnatic still lead. Money not great but they might want to purchase some P250s behind this saved AWP. Here is JW getting plucked off the top of the smoke there as Zywoo also mounting those sandbags to give him a little bit of elevation. And Vitality's buy looking much better here. So you can see just Crims upgrading. Everybody else holding on to those USPs and Flusher scoping in from spawn not to give away any sound cues on where he may be. You know, that 10 fov all the way through, just real zeroed in. That is going to be... 
Some dedication now to the cause. What's on the other side? Apex? Crazy. He's clearing it. He's clearing this. it, yeah. Yeah, this is... A whole lot of responsibility on Flusher. Combination of aggression. And the only hard weapon. Ooh. He's going to have some hard shots to hit here. Masuta goes down. That's lovely. And in the swing, he only finds the USP. There's more where that came from, but that's the first frag found. He might want to chuck that okay. AK off the map. Shocks and crims. This has been a pretty consistent duel throughout the round so far. Short control. You can hear him. That's info. He did get rid of the AK as well. It's somewhere. Bomb to B. Flash is leaving B. That surprises me. I wonder what the indicator of that would be. Maybe... That's the oh! That's to be a car crash here. Oh, my God. The Ooze I woo. Oh, oh, my there's God. There's an imposter among us, and he finds him. That was very confusing. As RPK now barrels forward, they found the threat. They continue on with their tasks as intended. <laughs> Bomb's going to go across. No contention there. Don't forget, Flush has got the striker balance with his orb here, and that's the shot he was waiting for. Finding the first, fills the feed, has to back Shots away. He's chasing again already. Look at this. It's the same thing from last round. Can he find him this time? I've got a good feeling about this one. I think Flush is going to have to have a little look. He's interested. Oh, damn. And again? Flusher hits the same <laughs> nonsense shot, keeping that orb alive. He might catch Apex here. <sighs> Didn't. It's an issue now. If you could get Zywoo, that's certainly not too shabby. Oh, oh he's going to see him. He will. Oh. He will. It's a oh. matter of time now. Oh. This, give of us time. a camera angle, this rush. Apex and flush up. <laughs> what is this game? <laughs> Hello? <laughs> oh, my God. No, there's no way they're both just... Oh, if they don't move, he, he'll just save them. This is the weirdest save I've ever seen. What is this? Well, that works. What is that? There you go, Flusher and Apex, none the wiser. <laughs> Unique. What a weird Unique round we had. New was... York. <laughs> Unique New York. Unique New York. Oh, we boy. had that. We had the weird little, like, JW in Among Us sort of, you know, walk yep. around. Oh, dear. Very curious round. Let's see, look at this one. Oh, <laughs> so ah. literally double takes. Uh, hello? Behind you, behind you, behind you. This is the shot he hit to keep hold of that AWP. <laughs> and we're back into the fray. Uh, Seven to yeah. six. Vitality stabilizing on this T side now. Oh, good chance. Brolin, low. Calling for the backup and the cavalry arrives in quick succession. A double kill is found. That could be the trade oh. for Apex. Good control of the spray. Numbers favoring Fnatic here in pursuit of their eighth. Flush are getting close quarters. He can hear them coming. Oh, the timing. Trying to be a rascal, but he walks straight through. Gray screen. Shocks finds the frag. JW to come up clutch. He has the cross locked down, but this is Zywu we're talking about. Spots the uh, elbow. Baits it in. That's the bomb on Zywu too, and he finds the necessary Easy frag. Like. It's about timing now. It's about the intuition of Crims. There will be a gap. Fake plant for now. That's the gap. Crims heard it. Shock's all too aware of the possibility. Crims pauses for a second of thought. Shot. He takes no damage for this. This is game back on, 1v1 now. This is so hard for Crims to get across. He has a smoke to work with, so if he deploys that to get sight control, that's one step in the right direction. He's second guessing himself a lot here. He hasn't got across. Smoke's not great. And that's the Zywu angle he was holding. Perfect line. Good sniping. Oof. Vitality 7. Look good for Fnatic. And look what that's done to the money as well. Yeah. CTs are going to be bringing nothing particularly exciting into this final round of play. Maybe that's, in a Gev? This is the double kill that Golden <laughs> really saved the, saved the squad. But it wasn't enough. That, yeah. Apex had the equalizer as well there with that uh, spam over towards the middle. And, and I think here, one of the keys I want to point out is the fact that it was Shox and Zywu left alive. You could see how independent they were able to be of one another, just happy to let them take their own duels and own fights, knowing that they're likely to win. So I meant they could be a little bit more separated, but Golden, he wants to shut things down here and see if he can take Fnatic into the half with the 8-7 lead. Oh. The smoke comes the barrel, and that's a big kill. Yeah, it is. And whether or not he gets away is yet to be seen, but the nades helped out. Apex falling is pretty important. It gives Golden a bit of room, but speaking of shocks, he didn't have a great first map, but here he's been instrumental, keeping it now a tied 3-3. Three to three. Potentially able to achieve more, but it's Masuta who's the one to be watching, getting so much room, so much space. A one-for-one -one trade out happened, so you know where it is right now. But Shox, I was gonna say he took damage, but he's also taken Flush's head, and now in the middle of no man's land Ooh. is Brolin wins the fight. 
And now look at these two, both so close in HP. Three kills to one, one to the other. Ooh, Kidoki. This gets tough for shocks. Sprollen as well. Both one bullet in it. <laughs> Golden gun, basically, at this point, isn't it? Yeah. Both with the same exact same rifle. But it does seem like they're passing each other at this point, so it will be Shox's advantage. Should he? Oh. Oh, wow. He's He's everything here. CT. Brolin oh. could get caught out here. It's hard angle to clear, though. Not anymore. Not. Eight right. to seven on the half, ladies and gentlemen. Vitality Fnatic seems we've got a game on our hands. Vitality, not a write-off. And Vertigo for Fnatic seems strong. By hook or by crook, negative or not, Fnatic did eventually get a good couple of rounds. Vitality also managed to keep stability. This has actually been a close half, showing that, well, there is proof to what Fnatic was saying. This has been clearly in the works, and well, Vitality may not know everything about this side. Yeah, Fnatic, they've been putting practice on this map in their time off or their time between events and coming out on Vertigo. They were off to a very large lead there. Vitality being able to bounce back into things and well, 8-7 could get any closer if we tried. We're going to get this one back underway and see who's going to walk out the victor on Vertigo. If we see Vitality win this, they're going to be going through to the next round of the GSL bracket. Whereas 
Snake will be going down to that lower bracket. I'll give you another B stream update. How's we it got, going over there? Yeah, so we have uh, Complexity taking on G2. Mm -hmm. And uh, we have that second map is also on Vertigo. G2 are currently winning 11 to 4. Okay. So Complexity, I'm, I'm still waiting to see what happens with Complexity. Obviously, I love seeing what they did before when they were at full strength. Just to keep you guys up to date, normally we'll be back in the game. I think Zyu is just reopening the old client, getting the game back underway. Don't worry too much. We'll keep you updated. Everything else happens. But it does give us time, as I said, to check back in on things. And as you highlighted, Complexity still not having the best of times. Obviously, yeah. it's going to be a long time until they're potentially back to full strength, if they're able to manage that. I'm wondering, what's the long-term goals Didn't they just take now? a map off of um, G2? They did, yeah. They're, they're, they're yeah. just an overall trajectory of the team, I suppose. I don't think Nether Sapphics is going to be a full-time replacement. I would say they'll be looking for somebody more in a, in a similar playstyle of an oboe. Mm. But uh, we can bring up the scores on the doors here, and I believe this would be from map number one. That would be a lot of kills, uh, so, otherwise. Yeah, because we're currently <laughs> looking at RPK here on map number two uh, with only two kills to his name. But what we can point out is Shox at the bottom of the Ding. scoreboard on Inferno. He's now towards the top of the scoreboard with 18 kills to his name, 104 ADR. Things are looking much better for him on Vertigo. Exactly that. And, and honestly, I'm glad he's recovered because he's been pretty big on, you know, controlling towards ramp and kind of keeping pressure up as well. And overall, Vertigo, well, we knew it was in the black box for Fnatic when it came out, especially in this matchup. It was considered maybe an echo of that Dust 2 sort of position, but it doesn't yeah. seem to matter. Coming into this, Fnatic have shown they look ready to play. Now, I don't know how to quantify that. I think that's something that I'm sure we could look at overall, but Fnatic have looked quite solid here. Yeah. yeah. Uh, well, look, the last results that I was talking about were close, right? They've all been close in their losses. Very few which are single digits. And it looks like zoe has been able to get back in the server. And we get the GG.bet odds at the top of your screen there. Vitality, the clear favorites. So we're going to get this one underway. The pistol round, the utility for Fnatic. We've got a smoker Molotov on JW. JW's got the Molly lineup. Let's see how this one shapes up. Forces Masuta into the line and Crims collect. Saiwu. Forced off of the line and tucking out. Hoping to connect on the jumping brawler. And it's looking very good for Fnatic. Apex claws it back alongside Shocks. It's Flusher on B trying to force RPK off. And he has huge amount of space created. Oh, and Golden's one is dual on A as well. This is all on Shoxy. And he's got the kit. But the bomb's going elsewhere. You can see Crims is bringing it over to join Golden. Flusher's having a look. Confirms. And even frags a double from Flusher. He's having quite the game. It's good to see his form maintained. Always a player I've, I thoroughly enjoy participating in vo watching him work his craft. 8-8. Eight, eight. So uh, all tied up here. It was uh, a spree of five rounds for Vitality to close out that first half after being down, uh, I believe it was 7-3. to three. Now, we are sitting with a T-side bias, question yeah, mark? Yeah, just. Um, so I do want to see how this now looks of, of Fnatic's T side. It was curious that they were on the CT side to begin with. They selected that, yeah, being Vitality's map choice. So they opted to start on the more difficult side, at least statistically. Mm. So again, I, I, I love seeing a new team in this sort of essence now. Zywoo's made things difficult. brolin has gone down, and that's probably not how they expected this one to start, and further damage dealt. Golden now down to 56, probably feeling a little worse for wear, and that's not the ramped start they wanted. Probably some quick, easy shots with an AK was on the uh, menu. Yeah, and that's unconfirmed damage, but it still will change the way that Golden has to play this round. Has to be worried about the Deagle bullet taking him down. There's also a scout in the mix of Apex, no longer operating on 100 health. Maybe you want to give that AK over to a JW or Flush, who are currently operating with the Galil and MAC-10, respectively. Are they close by? No, they're probably going to have to get close by because yeah. with the number disadvantage, they will need to group on up and see if they can take some map ter territory back. Now, Shocks over towards middle is the next danger man. Oh, that Deagle does have head armor with it. No subtlety, but oh, they're pushing ramp. Crimson Crim. was tasked to this. Whoa. Nice adjustment behead Zaiwu. Masuta's is also there. Oh. Another victim to add to the count. Surprising to see uh, Masuda not convert there. You can see Crim's not aware, and both of those were flicks on down. JW deals with Apex poking his barrel through the smoke, and now it just becomes a 4v2. From what once was threatening looking 5v4 in favor of Vitality, it's fallen apart. And as I say that, of course, Shox takes down another. What did you say, Chad? Oh! <laughs> That could have uh, ended very, very badly for Shox if he had the TK as well as going down. So making sure that uh, JW finished off those frags was luck, I suppose, on the side of Shox there, as this is the second kill onto Masuta. And I thought Masuta would have had the better of him in that environment. So Crims did a very good job of now getting them back the lead, and you can see the lineup there from JW. Doesn't get much easier than that. 
and it will just be the eco coming out from Vitality. So there Glock. are some upgraded pistols. What about us? Uh, it's the classic flush. Oh, it's JW's doing it, not flusher. Okay. Oh, okay. The T side are building the bank. They're about to run into crims if they're not careful. They haven't got a flash, so they will just have to push into his crosshair. He prepares for more. Nice. Really textbook stuff from wow. Grimms. He controls the USP push, and they will keep that neat, tidy, and effective. That's the double digits found for Fnatic's T side early into the piece. Three in a row. Still an 8-7 half from Vitality's T side. So we're back into it. This is the neat and tidy anti-eco. Just stopping that rush. Stopping any problems and letting that AK fall into the wrong hands. It is a, a part of the game, though, when executed as cleanly as that, it does feel like something to forget. It obviously doesn't always go that way. So we're back into it, back into things. No kit on the CT side here going into the first gun round. Note that Shocks could have purchased one, so a bit of confidence being shown. And same from Flusher as he's taken the lobby control very quickly. Molotov out towards the cutout to push any players back who want to go for early info. And that's forced RPK on two kills to exchange some of his utility. Flusher down to 12, RPK taking three points of damage, but mid is where the danger is for Masuta. Okay. He's taking it. He wants this fight actively. Mm. Quite bold, isn't it? JW. <laughs> oh, Masuta unmoved. Just maintained the entire time. Utility put down, just ensuring safety as now we look towards ramp where the vast majority of the T-side currently reside. On the other side, you have Apex, Zywoo. I mean, you do have to know that RPK on a bit of a downturn of performance here, a bit of an unfortunate scenario. No good ADR to report either. It is just a rough one. So for now, though, utility being exchanged. This CT side is where RPK can really come alive. They're locking down that B side of the map, and I think that Vitality are going to need it here. This round is looking very good for Vitality with a low HP of Flusher coming into play, and with 40 seconds left, it's going to be the A hit. Saiwu. Lovely towards Golden. This oh. is individual. This is easy. Feeling unpressured, unfazed. No flashes. No, no, nothing put him off of his angle. And he's even going to try and close it confidently. And he does. Uh, well controlled by Vitality in the end. I thought it was quite a, not a shaky start, but a brave start from Masuta that worked against, uh, who was he? Without GW. GW. Um, but, but overall, it felt almost toothless when they finally hit towards the site. Rush, who are you picking with the scoring at 10 to 9? You picking a favorite? Um, I'm still going with Vitality, I think. I think it's still got it. Like I said, if they go towards B, the tank is going to destroy him. Well, Hopefully he needs so. to. And Maybe he'll so continue to falter. I gave yeah, up on we'll the see. j -Raz dot, went back to my standard -Raz, RPK. That, the tennis ball, we call that crosshair. Yeah, I've given up on the tennis ball. I've gone back to the RPK uh, kind of, you know, uh, I don't want to call it the old man tennis ball, but it's just got a bit more clarity, a bit bigger. Easier on the eyes. Easier on the eyes. The Cyan. Big respect to the Cyan Crosshair Gang. And, oh, man, his model blocked it. Brolan perfectly there. Nothing he could have done about that. Apex caught off. An early casualty for Vitality to overcome. Flusher doing his usual set of utility to B. Keep RPK busy. Oh, Shocks has been spotted. Yeah, that's a nasty way to go. And this round's just been gifted to Fnatic. A double kill in mid puts Zywu and RPK on notice. If they were to run through his AWP, maybe there was something for him to say or do. He's actually moving into the gap. Oh, JW or a miss. Not going to get a second chance. It's cost him a great deal of his health. Trying to punish the relocation of Flusher. But they're heading elsewhere. This round is over. Saiwu looking to maintain on the B site. Flusher's actually potentially going to wrap back around in pursuit of this. He could find the uh, under the floor angle here. Even more intense of an under-the-floor angle. Look at this cheeky boy. They're chasing as well. So you can see coming through middle right now is Crims. They're trying to corral Zywu, make sure this AWP can't be carried on through. Hunting now through spawn is Brolin. He's thrown out a flash, indicating at least the presence. And at this point, the vice grip starts to tighten. Zywu, AWP in hand. Can he hold on to it with 39 points of health. I'm probably going to say this is a difficult task. Spots up one, Flusher takes him down, and that's going to be the round for Fnatic. They're up to 11, 11 to 9 with the money uh, in a decent stead for the buy for Vitality. They will be able to purchase into this one here, but they need to make sure that they can convert. Otherwise, Fnatic will be running away with map number two. And map number three, if we do need it, will be overpass between these two teams. Now, we heard from Samuelson, say, uh, this time last year, it was actually when uh, Fnatic took down Vitality in the grand final of DreamHack Masters Malmo. That was a best of three. 
Dust2, Inferno, and Mirage were the maps, so a little bit different for this time. A whole year later, how things change. And the default spread is underway once more. RPK still only with that two kills to his name. Only dealing with the smoke, and he is under pressure. Flusher, Crims, and Golden all down towards the B lobby. Gone are the days where you could just jiggle the corner and drop the smoke. What's he got in store for us? Intradasting. <laughs> That's actually deep all the way to the door, and RPK yeah. goes down again, so he's having a rough one here today. Shocks he's not, though. 20 frags. Oh, he holds down mouse one. He wasn't far off. Mizuta does trade up. Bottom hitting pause. It's Crims with the bomb. He does have the utility required. He's got a smoke grenade, as has J Dubs in mid, but one smoke deployed now. Off the skybox, and it's a bit useless. It's not what you were looking for. <laughs> All that excitement off the sky, but it's a it's bit useless. Not done anything. Oh, I know how it feels. Um, so now JW does have the smoke grenade, and that's all they've got left to put anything to action. Whether this or not, cut of the noise, like this... It does add that little bit of paranoia, doesn't it? it? It slowly creeps in. Apex is starting to clear. Where is Apex right now? Okay, so he's checking through ramp. Does he see anything? No. Probably B. Probably B. It's that awkward call that you're making and you're hoping is right. Now they're going to feel better about it. Another smoke comes in, but still no players seen. Still the garbage. Suta wants information and he finds more than enough. Zaiwu going to at least trade in towards Brolin. So this is a back and forth affair. Quick play from Zaiwu. Denies the bomb plant. JW looking for the kills. They're both there, but it doesn't really matter. Yeah, the smokes are a bit bit pants, weren't they? Both of them. Yeah, it seems like Fnatic definitely aren't, you know, perfect around the edges of their vertigo. You can see that there's still a bit of a bumpy ride at times. Back 10 thrown out for JW. He gets to treat himself to a, a bit of SMG action. This was Masuta saving the day, getting that trade and Saiwu just using that elevated position. Pushing in for that final frag as well. JW was just out of position, didn't have the time to win the round there. This one's so, very important, Alex. It is. Fnatic win this one right here. They're going to cripple the money of Vitality, and Masuda's going to go down very early. The Mac 10s, the pace change. Uh, we saw something similar out of Heroic just the other day. Yeah, and they're already in CT spawn, and Shox has lost his life. These Mac 10s, they're so fast, they're so vicious. He drags the crosshair. Oh, Fnatic have just changed the pace, turned this round on its head, and there, just as you painted, is the round Fnatic was a must win. I see Art, I see Furia. It's not a P90, but. Nice enough. Give yeah. him the backhand. And the reason I say that's a bit of an issue is because Vitality, unless they can hold on to these two guns, and it appears that Fnatic are hunting for these, their buy going to the next round not going to be fantastic. Zywa will take down Brolin, but that's the Canary in the coal mine gone. They know that there's a problem, and they know where that problem lies. Flusher now trying to make sure they can't escape over towards this forklift room. The smoke will indicate that they are trapped on the other side. He has a Molotov to work with here. Crims is on the high HP, and, well, Golden, he's the individual right now who is uh, the walking wounded. Only three hit points for himself. And Fnatic are more than happy just to let them hold on to these guns. Now take a look at the right-hand side of your screen. You can see here that Zywu can drop maybe over a Famous. Uh, the AKs, it's important for them to hold on to because the money going into this is not great. Now, Vitality do love a good old force buy. I'd be surprised to not see them go for a buy here. See what they want to walk away with. So yeah, you could get a, an SMG or something dropped across. A, a UMP could come into play. So an MP9's come out for Masuda. Shock's yet to buy. Still yet to buy. Still yet to... Okay, never mind. There we go. He's got the Famous and Armor and Utility. So late out of spawn. Very late. Ten seconds have actually passed. And it isn't a rush. They're lucky that that's the case. Oh, yeah. this is horrible. Yeah, this is nasty. The timing feels all over place for the CT side. We've had late out of spawn. Apex trying to make a bit of a play down towards ramp. Gets tagged, gets heard, and it's it's all for nothing, this feels like. The ti uh, this timeout's available, so maybe on a round like that, Vitality could have opted to use one. They have three remaining, so uh, this is, again, an important round because the cash is yet to build to a point where they're comfortable. And Fnatic with 12 to their name, winning this. That's 13. Money broken for Vitality. Oh dear, it could uh, be a Fnatic win on map number two. Gotta be lining up the smoke, lobs that out, trying to cotton off middle, give them some control. Force out any utility, and there you go. So a Molotov off the box. Yeah. Ooh, the wow. burning, the spread. Shock has no idea. Some completely unconfirmed damage, but JW bleeding internally. Boosted, chance now. Oh, an RPK, the flash from Shocks. It's done enough. 
Team Flash, Vitality losing an early casualty. Now Shock's trying to fill the gap and Crims has got him. Vitality just jumping into the Fnatic players here. They're going back and forth to and fro. Another round that they will not be able to contest. Did you talk to Carrig Carrigan about that suspicious A thing he tweeted, by the way? Suspicious A thing? Yeah, he did like a graphic. Oh, yeah. It was like, did I, you... I opened up with that. I said, Carrigan, what's this about? And he said, I can't tell anybody yet, but something coming for the fans soon. A tease? Yeah. Okay, cool. So there is a, something to be looking forward to. It was a, it, I, I just went unannounced as well. I just, I just brought it up on the stream and went, let's see if he tells us anything. Yeah. Well, no, fair play. So you're like, I'm just going to play, press play here, Carrigan. Yeah. You're just going to watch this. Tell me what I'm, what, <laughs> tell what I'm watching. AK for Masuta. That's something he could catch J-Dubs. It's not to be. Does he keep the M4? What a baller. Okay, well, uh, this one has three maps written all over it. it certainly it's, does. Uh, Team Vitality now are working with very, very little. This was the spread of the Molotov. Oh, no, the, the spread of the Molotov had already come on through. This Why have you lied to me? About what? Oh, uh, well, the, was... I thought that we were going to show like the flames coming from the box and stuff, yeah. but we just had the team flush there, which is actually even worse. So <laughs> <laughs> going into round number 24, it was just the pistols. Um, you guys watch anything fun recently? Anything good? I started uh, to rewatch The Walking Dead. Okay. Mm. I watched the... Is that because of all her zombie talk? I just like zombie stuff. Play Daisy. I love a bit of zombiness. Okay. You know, it's a good time. It's the COVID special, the pandemic special. Oh, yeah, the South Park from, one. Um, South Park. What do you think? Good, I guess. Nice. It was it was uh, entertaining for the 40 minutes I watched it. Yeah, that's that's about all we need from it. I'm going to start watching a new anime tonight. Well, it's not a new anime. It's an old anime. Haiku? No, no, I'm, I'm, I'm up to date on that. I'm going to watch, uh, I'm going to go back old school, watch Cowboy Bebop. Classic. I've never yeah. seen it. B -b Bebop. So I think I'm going to start there. Nope. Uh, I'm trying to look for a new anime. Um, I, I dabbled in. good one. I saw it and I went, oop, no. Nope. Um, <laughs> you guys are, really should give it a chance. I just don't, it's just teen drama. I don't need, it's I don't need teen, that. It's not it is, drama. it is. It's like the Gilmore Girls for boys. What? It's <laughs> definitely anyone, not really. teen drama. The Gilmore drama. Girls is great. You, you're not wrong. It is fantastic. Um, no, I was looking at Tower of God. It got highly recommended. It's like a, a recent one. Didn't love it. I don't know. I'm struggling. You know, you just, you need that good start. Not Take a little it. chance on Haikyuu, Lauren. Oh, you please. won't be disappointed. Just watch the first couple but of episodes. I don't like slice of life sort of things. It's not slice it of... It is. It's just like boy sports team that's overcome the odds. Our, our, our problems, but in a really benign way. You guys really get way. on me for judging things. And no, you don't uh, even no give me because, because you chance. keep trying to push this on me, and I've told you I know I know my weird anime. It's all I watch, and I just don't need to see it. And what I would really like to not see is Apex somehow make a problem of this. Fnatic should be in no problems, but suddenly there's a lot of problems. Masuta's is a bit lower now. Apex does finally did some damage towards him. Golden, desperate to hold on. Four HP is all they have. So low, so low. Apex could do this. He's only got 30 HP. Brolin's only got three. Fakes it out, pushing of the off angle. He can get this duel. Brolin calling the bluff. Hasn't given him anything. Just the tip of the head. Has he got the 10 seconds? Can we close? I think he might. He might have that. Oh, wow. It looked like it was a complete write-off. It still looks oh, too close no. for comfort. No, oh. no, no. Oh, oh. oh vitality given a clutch from the heavens. Apex makes the only weapon in play. Sing, three frags. Brolin's going to be thinking he played it perfectly. Called the bluff, started to check just the tip of the head. Let's see this again. Pushed onto Golden. This is the frag that's impressive. Look how little he's working with. God damn, that is... Absolutely nothing. And little he was working with on that defuse. Wow. A, Come off that's it. a very important round for Vitality. They were Holy against the wall. That would have been 14 on the board for Fnatic here. And as we get back underway, the buy is out for Fnatic. Looks like they're ready to go fast. Mac 10 in Golden's hands yet again. Zywe pressured up with that AWP. Apex bullets through the smoke. But the pressure hasn't let up for Vitality. It's still on and Fnatic are looking good. Yeah, the flashes are really unrelenting. Apex caught out, completely sleeping. Pants around his ankles. JW dropping out of smoke to get that bomb down. Masuta wants to contest. He's locked in elevator at this point in time. Crims punches in the digits. Masuta does lick down Golden with the flames. Retake smokes being deployed. Oh, as I were completely caught. Nice use of that elevated position from Brolin. Looking great for Fnatic again. Have to save. They have to. You just can't afford to contest. 
It's too uh, strong. I think he's having a nightmare out there today. Two to 22. Yeah, that is uh, very, very rough. The tank in recent times has been, I, I don't want to say consistent. in the mud here. But he's been playing very well, like across the board. You know, yeah. his average level is good. And then when he's hitting more peak level, he's finding a lot of impact. But he just had a great game on Inferno. So it's weird to see him come in on a map like Vertigo and be dropping off a cliff so much. Apex did his best to step on up in that previous, and it's going to be the double orb setup coming through for Vitality into the following round. RPK is going to drop that across to Zywoo. Apex will be able to buy himself, and that's the opening right there. You know, Apex on an island, just nothing he could do. And that kill over the top of the boost box from or well, onto Zywoo was basically all she wrote. So now, Famous out for RPK. The double orbs, utility's decent. There are is one kit in play on Masuda, just one. And it's 5 AK-47. So back over towards A, they trundle. Lots of noise. Crims on 27 kills. Having a bit of a banger right now. Aggressive smoke and Apex wants to be even more so. There's a nice little stylish 360 there. And this has a timer on it. When this smoke starts to clear, they can either redeploy or he can fall on back. Oh! Mm. Great need. Brought him on the retreat because he heard the pin. It's actually kind of perfect. God, this is a bit of a one and done from Zywoo. He's going to peek into the angle. It's a tight line. Playing with fire, though. Now we want to Crims. Lovely stuff. Apex as well does give them the advantage they sought. And perhaps there's more life in Vitality after this round of play. Not over yet. JW to clear out middle. What's Masuta up to? High elevated position. He likes his off angles, does Masuta. Could get dunked here. It's JW that catches lead. They can keep all their weapons here, Chad. They can start really building into the comeback. Yeah, and that'll all be, uh, obviously they lost the previous, but this is inspired by that Apex clutch. So yeah. Vitality need to be thanking their lucky stars. That's a great nade. Lots of damage <laughs> done to both Shox and Apex. Everybody in the server besides Zywoo relatively wounded right now. And well, Apex again, he mops that up. 19 kills for him. Seems to be having a good showing against Fnatic again. Mm -hmm. And uh, now it's just flusher. Now I've seen him win some one on fives or some two on fives. Go. I don't have that feeling though. No, you need uh, you need the crowd. It needs to be Katowice. It needs <sighs> to be train. It needs to be a grand final. It needs to be against Phase. Um, so yeah, we'll we'll let him off the hook for that one. Just two quick notes. Uh, Jason recommending Elfin Light. So shout out to Jason Moses who? watching. Who? Moses. Oh, uh, do we know? Do we know him? Moses O'Toole. I think he's the coach of um, it's a North American team. Uh, Sponge, be careful. RBG hey, or one of those new, gonna, new ones. Oh, we're gonna see Imperium oh. maybe. Oh, rebirth, yeah. Another one of these guys who's left and, us. And in other news, come back into our the line. one you recommended is called Coming of Age, Comedy and Slice of Life. That haiku thing? Comedy. Coming of Age and Slice of Life. Slice of terrible. <laughs> but there's aggression coming out again. Fnatic rolling it back and running straight into the same sort of brick wall. However, Golden did succeed against Apex. That's a big hit to remove. Ooh. He's still got Zywoo. One more. Snapping and just backhanding them down. The bomb now just popped up on that ledge. Could be a problem, but it looks like Golden can, oh, excuse me, Brolin can grab that back as Flusher does find success towards Whoa, Masuda. This has got all the trimmings of a Fnatic mid-round here, folks. So strap in. A two versus four already made more manageable. Flusher's found himself the first. Oh, he's made noise. Oh, RPK, please oh, get a third. Oh, that's his important frag there. That keeps things under control, keeps things under wraps. It does mean the fact that RPK is fragging means that B is probably clear. Shock's realizing that's a wide open site. Brolin the same. It should be the bomb plant, you know. That molly would confirm it. Going for the plant. Here we go. Was I with disrespect? Close the gap as fast as he can. A little touch of damage. Ouch. Need 33. Flashes two. He's got a lot of pressure. Finds the first. Can't transfer. A valiant attempt, but it will be the 13th for Vitality. They are starting to continue. Starting to continue. Really, Alex? <laughs> they are starting. Alex, this is day one of the event. Can you, you know, pull yeah. up your trap? Pull up your trousers. Don't, don't poke the bear. <laughs> He's kicked off at Moses, which I'm already not happy about. He's had a little dig at you. Chad. You're next, Lauren. Yeah, good luck, mate. I'll take it too far and make you sad. <laughs> Shut she'll, up. She'll say things she doesn't mean. <laughs> too proud to take them back, though. 14 to 14. <laughs> take a look at the re round recap while we change the subject. You can see the US Air Force tactical timeout has been called. Tactical timeout. It's tactics. It's timeout. It's... <laughs> Two diffuses of the four rounds they've converted. Make it five as I slowly learn to count. RPK with a solid ADR of 29. It's Good a rough one. Grief, it is a rough one. But imagine if he gets like an ace 
Yeah, I could uh, imagine. Yeah, it's, it's probably not going to happen. But I would say if I'm Fnatic and I know that RPK is having a rough game, I know where I'm headed. I'm headed over towards that B side of things. I'm going to try and bully him. I'm going to try and take him out of the equation. The GG bet odds still favoring Vitality here as Fnatic are only two rounds away from closing out map number two and taking us to overpass as a third. And as we see the utility with the pistols coming on in and the direction that uh, Fnatic are heading, it looks like it will be over towards B. So RPK, what do you got for us? Here we go. It's a great song. I think it's uh, by Yazoo or something strange. The only way is up. Um, RPK, four kills, 29 ADR. But they say what must what goes up must come down. Yeah, but hopefully so the that's after the, up, that's after the game. That's okay. after the game. After. It's all about timing here. Um, this one goes down, it goes in. Shock's going to steal all the ADR. Oh. Mm, that is a lot of damage done. RPK now tucks himself in, waits for the sound cue, spots one. That's another kill. That's five. Looking for a sixth. He gets it. And this is a oh, shutdown. Lovely. The tank going to build a bit of confidence there. Start feeling the game. Three kills, yes, against pistols. But when it ties you up at 14 14, it deserves note. It made sense for them to try and bully that site, right? If someone is having a weaker game and it's not part of your game plan, you may as well give it a crack here. But on a silver platter, none of these individuals even looking in RPK's direction until. Yeah. The frags I want. JW. They're the best kind of frags in Counter-Strike, <laughs> unless it's the pistol round. And then please look at me. I don't want to shoot you in the back and miss. Uh, but away we go. Round 29. Whoever locks this one in has secured overtime for themselves. And there'll be one round away from taking map number two. So I will aggressive Molotov down, looking for individuals jumping up towards scaffolding, but nobody's home. And taking advantage of that information is Apex. Nade. Oh, it's a bit shy. He's desperately trying to stop them doing this boost, and oh. they do manage to knock them off their perch, and they need bullets, everything thrown their way. And it's a first blood for Vitality. Crucial round of play. He wants more. Bloodlust. So that's one way to win ramp control. Just like that, they've completely deterred them. Hey, where can they find a frag? Where can they isolate a kill? It is just... Shocks over towards the B side of things with the AWP. Towards middle, we've got RPK in tandem with that of Masuta. So this little duo will be swinging off one another, and JW's actually going to take out that Masuta part of the equation. Limps the smoke on through. This was punished before by Zaiwu. Masuta wants to go for the same. A big gap here. Ooh, RPK. Oh. That's no fun for anyone. Dunked on, catches it. JW finishes it off, but immediately traded Masuta, exploiting the gap in that mid-smoke. Okay, Vitality, you've got a man advantage. You've got flashes on flash up from Fnatic. It looks like they will be finishing B. Masuta's going to hear this. Shock's got a lot to do. He readies his aim, and he pulls the trigger successfully. Vitality, two frags away from a 15th and taking full control. Roland and flash up doing it all. They've used all their nades now. It will come down to bullets. It should very well be a shock's frag, but he's got two angles to deal with. Flush up. Distracted. <gasps> a miss, though. And Masuta. And shock's getting the job done in the end. A crucial round of play. Look what it's done to Fnatic. This could very well end in the 2-0. Vitality, a last-ditch comeback. We've seen them string together the last four rounds of play. Five of the last six. See how well... This one was handled. It does seem like Vitality have had all the necessary utility once they get that early man advantage to just make it a nightmare for the remainder. The fact they didn't get the bomb down there is a little bit of an issue for Fnatic here going into the final round of regulation. Things have cooled off a little bit. Crims with a 27, Flusher with a 23. And as we take a look at their buy, the 2900 loss bonus means uh, probably Tech 9s, Mac 10s could come into play as well but it will just be the pistols across the board. And well, Fnatic's of the old would love the Tech 9 or the CZ buy. With all this utility behind it, it's taking me back about three years. <laughs> I haven't seen something like this in a while. As the buy comes on through, Fnatic have everything to work with for a set piece, but it looks like just in the early stages, we'll be limping out for that default control. So Flasher taking B lobby was supported there with a flash. It was, <sighs> this is crucial. This is, I mean, to be fair, if there was a squad that you could rely on to make these armored pistols work, it would be Fnatic. They've gone full util. RPK probably been given a warning that they might try and exploit that B site again. Same kind of strategy as the old version of Vertigo from him and trying to drop his smoke to slow them down. Flash is high. Brolin's in. And they are crossing RPK burning. Oh, he's going to struggle here. He needs one, but he's going to get swung on. 
One for one into the site. The bomb can go down. That's Golden's responsibility. Rotates coming in. Can Fnatic keep the retake from being just a little too scary? Golden's caught a bit of flak here. High flash. Bottom recovering an M4. He wants to take these orbs down. A double orb for the retake's not ideal. And he has found another one. He wants oh. overtime. Brolin's got a triple. Apex into the site. Close quarters. Needs bullets. Doesn't have them. Masuta to clutch. Can't do it. We're off to overtime. It's 15-15. Inseparable. Leader, I got my team up. I've been a dreamer. I switched the scene up. I done got that green up. It don't make me fiend up. But they know I'm being with the rats. Call me the fiend up. Smoke up, no lean up in my soda. Fresh and clean, got no hold up. I've been an outcast. Me and scared, we told ya. Been in that backseat. Facts be. Move that word, but it ain't no deep. Uh, U G M B M U S I C. I'm only human if you cut the skin, I bet I bleed. And when my back against the walls, put in that work, I leave. I see the vision clear, seeing things that y'all don't see. Two dogs on a vision, call it 2020. <laughs> I got my team up, get it off from rap, and we stacking, getting my green up. With y'all lean up, cooking a wow, trucking a minute of mine, fucking up every style. You in it now, told her my family is proud. Well, enough fight, and we proud. Bitch, I don't wanna talk, I just walk up. On a bitch, can't try to get on my stock. Love all my fans, fuck on my ops. Pretty snake jams, all of my cops. Girls gon' dance, homies, I walk. Came too far, and we ain't gon' stop. Gave my life, and I took my shot. Yeah, I rose up top, and I took my spot. If it's a problem, then we really ready. Yeah, honey, with me and we for the war. My heart is formed and my vision deadly. I've been dotted in my sight, see it 2020. <laughs> Overtime for both of the streams. We're running simultaneously. Not only this one here for Vitality up against Fnatic, but G2 Complexity going into overtime on their second map as well. That's happening. You can just go check it out by adding it in ESL underscore CSGO B. That's the second layer of the alphabet and the one you rush. We are ready to get into it. Myself, Pansy, and Sponge, we're ready for the first day of play. And already we're back into the action. JW bringing out the T side orb, previously not something that Fnatic have been focused on. So I'm interested to know how he chooses to apply his trade. Aggressive on ramp and ooh, jumping over the shots. Apex wants some aggression here, Lauren. Yeah, aggressive, aggressive on ramp works both ways, it feels. Apex pushing down. And it didn't work out so well before, and Yikes. it's not worked out well again. Golden's going to find Apex, and now suddenly Zyro's feeling a lot of pressure. Going to have to try and fall away, find a bit of safety. I think he's got RPK with him as well, so at least he's got some sort of um, support here. But 
even with that in mind, there was a lot of T's coming towards you. This is really difficult for Vitality to level up here. Being a man down, pressure towards the A side of things. The intention for Fnatic is clear. Utility, it's oh, decent. Look at Flush's position. <laughs> <laughs> Just can't check it. <laughs> There's nothing you can do, is there? Well, now it's going to have to be a hero effort from Vitality, as we can see. It looks like Fnatic are slowing things down. Golden pushing forward, seeing if he can sell this one out. Flubs his smoke. That's a problem. That's a big problem. Zywu taking advantage of that gap, using that smoke to his favor. He gets another kill off the back of it. They just made it a 3v3. They just made it competitive. And now Shocks with an AWP, he could definitely find one here. And that's the one he was waiting for. Crims drops the bomb. Flush out. Ooh, so flashed. It should be the frag. He looks for the no scope. And Shox has hit it. A three versus five turns in favor of Vitality. He won't connect the last bullet. Brolin screwed. 20 seconds. What can you do? Oh, he's got his skates on. He can make it over towards the site in time. But are they rotating back? Zywu can beat him there. Yeah, he looks like he's going to be posted up in just enough time. He could just drop the incendiary, but... Oh, uh, he will. There's the Moy. There it is. Kill comes in, but all shocks. All shocks. Zywu was gifted an opportunity there by the flub smoke of Golden. And you can see the smoke here to Zywu's left. He actually uses it to now hide in and then re-peek on it. And that was Golden who missed through that, which opened an avenue which never otherwise would have been available. JW, in a likely scenario, trades that out. And then Shocks having to hit some hard shots there Oof. is able to lock it down. So Vitality need to be wiping the sweat off their brow because that was a three-on-five situation that Fnatic just flubbed or handed on over. Krim's actually going into the Krieg. So we've been seeing more Org. Let's see if there's more Krieg in play. Oh, wow. That's one way to start the round. AW just losing out. Sketchy stuff now for the French. They know that there's potential walk up on ramp. Flash is usually given his B lurk responsibilities. Brolin evade the nade. But it's a bit of a standoff here. Flusher has the element of surprise. It could very well spell trouble for RPK. 25 deaths. Just looks shaky, doesn't it? Oh. it? Does get it, but it's not pretty. <laughs> Maintains all that utility, able to put it down, keep control, keep off the map. There's Masuta even getting a little confident about this now. You could still apply pressure onto RPK on this B side of things because they tend to play a one-one-three or a one-two. Two set up, and there's the pressure. This time, RPK wins a duel on low HP. So this is massive stuff. He even has more utility, but goes for the swing, gets taken out. Now we have a two on four. Yeah, okay, this is tough. Suta realizing he's better off tucking in. Sharks distracting, multi kill, not to be great wow. shooting, a no scope Sorry, from what? Shocks to control oh, the game. Come off his Shocks. First, you take away his vision, then he takes away the scope. Regardless, he still pulls the trigger successfully. This is MR 316K, money not a factor. They'll have anything they desire for the final round of play. First overtime. And if they can keep it spotless, if we really do see Vitality whip out the 4 3 0, this spells real trouble for the Fnatic boys. They have to. Give them, you have to give them some credit. That's the no scope. Okay, mate. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Love to see it. All right. Oh. Well, still rocking the single op setup. Someone as versatile as Zywu, as good as Zywu with the AK, just as potent. And, oh, Apex is even finding an opening. Brolin, the danger man, taken out very early. Well, Fnatic have kind of fizzled away here. They were looking so good in regulation. They were battling back. They were getting work done with Tech Nines even to take us towards overtime. And now they are being uh, paddled as an interesting angle from Masuta up on top of the dolly right there. I don't know what we're going to call it. Okay. Call it a dolly? Well, it's, what is like it? a, it's like a mobile scaffold. But Oh, okay. You can find a word, I'm sure. You can make him up. I just say, yeah, when I was doing construction, mate, that's what we used to call yeah, it. It's the dolly, oh, mate. Dolly, mate. <laughs> OPK, though. Here we go. Here we go. It's truth. <laughs> Gonna be a bloody tough round here for Fnatic to get back into. It's truth. Crikey, Shocks isn't gonna pick again, is he? he might. Mate. How's that? <laughs> He's got a good shot here. That's 30. Should he pull the trigger successfully? Boom, not quite. Golden spotted. RPK being baited in, but Flusher finding a casualty elsewhere has actually brought it back to a 3v3. That might force the rotate. Oh, it's so... Oh. Taking him out. He's got his... Oh, yeah. Come on, I'm here. I hate it. 
<laughs> well, that's chaos. We apologize for your eardrums and... Oh, we don't. Oh, shocks. <laughs> Has to catch them on the cross. Should be good. <laughs> Not when Crims is hitting shots like that, though. Blimey. Apex is low as well. There shouldn't be a universe where he takes this. It is Apex. He's oh, super no. low HP. No, wait, no, no, wait, no, no, wait. no, 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 well, 17 to 6, you can see the chance. So first off, PK fumbling with his knives. They fake the run back and he takes it. Hook, line and sinker. This is the shot from Crims that really gets the ball rolling in Fnatic's favor. And then Apex had a real shot here. The fact he spots one, he didn't check back on Flush's movement. So that was the loss of his chance. So nice, good attempt. Element of surprise there, but a smirk creeps onto the face of the Swedes as they keep it competitive. A 2-1 first half, timeout called. Tactical timeout. That's what Masuta has been placing himself upon. I, I guess it's more like a mobile scaffold. He gets on the highest point. Um, Rush, what would you call it? They've changed that. It used to be like a toolbox. I think I changed it. Even, toolbox, call it yeah. either scaff or construction. Why don't we call Shut it? Up, Rush, don't you dare start that, that now. Sense. I swear. We could call it. Um... <laughs> He's massive troll. Yeah, it's construction. <laughs> oh, I'm going to have a meltdown. Yep. <laughs> RPK. And Flusher. Just a roll reversal, the same duel. Either way, the round gets into the good stuff. Interesting smoke. So to take back vision and for them to be able to push on up, and when I say them, I mean Vitality, to force on up and take control of the cutout position. They've actually dropped a smoke, which normally you see the CTs doing when the executes come through. Very deep smoke to lock off towards the B lobby. So they're kind of trapped on in, but that's forcing them forward. Yeah, and it's kind of worked out for Flusher. He's already got one chance for a second, but no bullets. And that is the way to open up the round for your squad. Bomb going down courtesy of Masuta. Nate will bring him out, but it doesn't stop him from planting. So now the disadvantage lies with Vitality, but the bomb's ticking. A smoke can buy time and space. Oh, such a good angle for this. He'll get the first. Not he's not expecting the second, but... Oh, my goodness. He's actually picked up a smoke. He's so liberal with it. He wasn't expecting it. Now a 1v2 for Apex. And Golden going wide. He finds the first. Has okay. good info. Wants to drop the molly on that bomb. This is really nice. I love that from Apex. Pushing forward to Got take smoke. the fight. That was the best opportunity he could have had. That's not going to be enough. Yeah. Oof, that was uh, a little bit panicked there from Apex. Knew that he was isolated behind that girder and the bomb box situation, but instead of just taking the jewel, he was opting to go for the utility play. And by doing so, kind of putting himself in a rough spot. Uh, I think Golden here was the hero of the round. This nade kill onto Masuda, the precision stuff there, as easy as you like, Rollin with the assist. But now by dropping the molly, Apex actually did have a moment that he could have gotten away, not to know how quick... He just felt he lost track yeah. of timing and positioning, right? Like, the first kill he knew he had to take the quick fight on does that, but by that point, who knows where JW's got to. It's a difficult situation, definitely, to be in, and when you have that utility, sometimes thinking you've found the uh, rock to their scissors, but this time round, JW, with that... AK-47 decapitates shocks and finds the number advantage for Fnatic early. Look how far forward Apex is, though. Okay, Apex, let's have a little look. See what you do with this. Nothing. Uh, Golden has absolutely none of what you're selling. And Fnatic, once again, maintain control. Weird positioning and weird round. No yeah. trades, nothing. Double overtime or bust here for Vitality as it is just Masuta left in a one-on-five. And, well, I don't think he's going to have... Too much of a chance now that he's down to one HP. JW's done a huge chunk of damage and then into the arms of Brolin. Masuta will run. Fnatic up to 18. One round to take us to map number three of Overpass here today. Is our opening series of IEM New York. Taking a look right now, G2 versus Complexity also in a similar situation. However, Complexity are the ones up 18 to 17. That's the B stream. Timeout called. Vitality have one left, but if they don't win this round, they'll be unable to use it. Loser of this game looks like they will be going forward to play against G2. Winner will have the opportunity to play against Complexity, who I think are now in a, uh, what does it look like? It looks like a uh, 3v1 
one situation for Amanek to clutch on out over there on that B stream. So that means the G2 will be knocked down towards that lower bracket immediately. Our next matchup uh, we have is Heroic versus FaZe, which is part of Group B. That'll be coming up after this series here today. So back underway we go. Vitality, they need this to level up 18-18, or that's all she wrote for map number two. Golden's optic for the sandbags approach. Shock spots him out early, though. That's beneficial. They can get the molly out. He's going to preemptively smoke. But now to cross back. That's a challenge and a duel. He wins. Magnificent. Traded, though, by Miss Suta. Okay, this is where it gets interesting. Twin players dueling it out, and Apex wins his duel. It was an inquisitive jiggle. Crim's punished for it. Do you expect GW and Brolin both to be here? I guess you could. It has been a while since that contact on ramp, so maybe a fair assumption, but a hard clear with JW on the other side. No shadow, nothing advantageous about it. Just that right eye peak doesn't work out so well. Brolin, though, oh. with flash. One, two, that is a shutdown, and now it's just Apex in the 1v2. Oh, a wild spray as his flash comes out of it. Flusher now head to, over towards headshot. Not too subtle. Apex? Wow, that's the end of that. 19 to 17. Furious. Flush, I thought he could have done it quicker, but Vitality fall and we're off to a third.
Intellect Stream Masters, New York, day one and wrapped. We do see a third map for Fnatic and Vitality. And what does this mean for Fnatic's map pool? It seems that they, they can hang with yeah, a strong real Vertigo real. team on Vertigo. Yeah, and that's the thing. Now for Vitality, they go to three losses in a row on this map. So for them looking so good, now not looking so good in a very quick turn of events. And Fnatic obviously putting time in here. We saw those details coming through. A couple of close rounds, but Crims was absolutely mammoth for this side of Fnatic here. Managed 32 kills, uh, 24 deaths, eight assists in the mix there as well. He had uh, about 95 ADR over this one. So able to find a lot of impact around like this here, mopping up Masuta, quick reactions. Crims was looking absolutely on point. Um, some other details was that the double AWP setup that Fnatic started rocking. They had Flusher doing it. They obviously had JW doing it as well. And, and it was a close game, right? You don't get closer than overtime matches. Vitality pushed them. It was their map choice. They went for the punish. And the only ones punished here are Vitality because RPK, he had a rough one on that map right there. Uh, up Struggle Street without a paddle. And uh, unfortunately, it means we're going to a